Hi guys, Simon from SA Tuning. Um, we're going to try a little experiment. Uh, we've been banging on about tuning boxes. You may have seen the tuning box rant that I had uh, about a couple of weeks ago. Um, I'm going to try and prove a point now. Um, we've got this Astra CDTI 163 horse in with us. It's coming with the tuning box on it. So we're going to dyno it with the tuning box on. We're going to cool the dyno cell back down again so it's exactly the same temperatures. Then what we're going to do is run it stock all at the same temperatures, then we're going to tune it and run it again. And we're going to hopefully show you the massive difference between the two. Because saying it and seeing it are two different things. And we want to show you what they actually achieve, if anything at all. Alright, so we're going to start with a run. We've done a couple of runs with the tuning box on now. So what we will do is we will run a test. So that's the computer, so bear with us. So if you come in, you'll be able to see it's just made 163 on 412 Newton meters. The run before it made 164.9 and 398. Now bearing in mind, this is a 163 brake horsepower model anyway. So maybe the car's not gonna run stock. We don't know, we haven't run it stock yet. If it does run stock, then paying nearly three, 400 pounds for one brake horsepower, maybe not the best thing. But we shall see. This is an experiment. You're gonna run it with us. We, we don't know, so we're gonna film it as it goes. So yeah, so these are the figures with the box on. Same temperatures, same time. Literally, they're like six minutes apart. Um, so the conditions are still the same. It has got a little bit warmer, so we're gonna cool everything back down to start the first run, which was at 11 degrees. So we're gonna start that. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right. The tuning box there that is uh, beautifully secured as you can see that's never going to move around at all is it um, and then we've got some beautiful cable ties just hanging around and then the wiring loom going across the engine which is here and so it's basically gone into the high pressure sensor here which is the fuel fuel pressure sensor and then down the back this other one is just off of the map sensor so yeah so we'll take all this off because it's all beautifully fitted and looks amazing. So we'll take this off and then we'll, uh, we'll run it again. So this is the box over there. It was on number seven, so that was Mac Power apparently. Um, and yeah, that's, that's, that's what you get. Two little bits of wires. Um, it was a bit of a pick to get off. Um, one of the connectors on the back here didn't want to come off, so we had to use long nose pliers and a pick to get it off. So. If you have to do that in the rain standing outside, I don't know if I'll be about that. There we go, we'll see when it runs stop. Right, so this is a stock run. Um, it's actually a little bit warmer, so it's worse for the car. The hotter the air, the less horsepower you're supposed to make. So, this is utterly stock. Right, we've taken the tuning box off. It's made 164.4 and 399 newton meters so the box gave it 13 newton meters and on one of the runs oh, it made 0.5 of a horsepower gain that's it that's all the box did so i was expecting quite a lot more than that i was expecting maybe for the car to run not particularly well stock or they had some problems but um but no i mean proofs in the pudding is actually hotter now in the dyno cell than it was so it, it's actually worse for the car and yet it's still made only 13 newton meters and 0.5 of a brake horsepower difference awesome we'll run it up uh, a couple of times now just to make sure i'm sure it'll be exactly the 
so I can show you anyway. Um, and then we'll tune it and we'll see what happens then. All right. Right, so this is live from what it is making now. And there we go. So this is after our tune. We had the, and then we just tweaked it a little bit more. So this is the last tune. And this is what it made. This is the blue line. We hit 209 brake horsepower, 433 newton meters. Bearing in mind that the tuning box made 164 and 398. Stock, it actually made two brake horsepower more and another three newton meters more than a tuning box. Our tune, 209. 433 figures don't lie that's what it is so if you're thinking about a tuning box maybe not cheers guys